in front of the prison camp. Excellent, Snake. H hasn't slowed you down one bit. Kept you waiting, huh? So here's where it all began. The Warthog Grand Caravan from Cursed Halo, a ridiculous idea given form and function, but not pushed to its absolute limits. Today we are going to change that. So here we have Long Hogs version 3 and 4. These bad boys have completely custom collision and physics models, coming in at nearly three times the weight of a normal Warthog, and are of course capable of seating up to 11 players each. But what you don't know is that these vehicles completely pale in comparison to the horrors that are yet to come. Prepare yourself for something adorable. Wow! You came to this video looking for the longest warthog possible, but did you expect to find the shortest warthog possible? Or how about the tallest warthog possible? Yeah, it just kind of does that. It's really hard to drive. But let's get right back on topic here with Long Hogs version 5 and 6. Our first warthog is capable of carrying an entire server's worth of players. These Warthogs are now bigger than any other vehicle in the base game, and require a huge amount of physics and model data to make them work properly. And speaking of huge, behold, the Big Hog. This is a Warthog to exactly two times scale. It's fully functional with custom seat animations and appropriately scaled physics. But of course, what kind of person would I be if I just stopped there? Behold again, the Mega Hog. Now this abomination is up to four times scale. It's so big that Master Chief has to stand up in the seat in order to reach the steering wheel. And he can't reach the gun turret, so he just sort of holds on to the top of it and hopes for the best, I guess. This thing is so massive you can just walk right underneath it and squeeze between the suspension. It's fucking massive, mate. And you know what else is massive? The amount of money you can save by using the promo code INFERNO PLUS when signing up for NordVPN. Oh yeah, it's time to get this bread. Do you ever go on the internet and look up really weird shit and think, man, I hope the government isn't spying on me, but then they really do be though. So what is a person to do in this situation? Well, you can use your NordVPN power-up to become completely invisible on the internet, of course. With NordVPN, you are utterly untraceable, and you can also use it to access region-locked content that would normally be blocked in your country. Take that, giant evil corporations! So head on over to nordvpn.com slash infernoplus, or use the promo code infernoplus at checkout to get 70% off a three-year plan and an extra month for free. And now, back to the video. Alright, I guess I've made you guys wait long enough. Let's go ahead and bring out Long Hog version 7. Uh... That's not supposed to happen. I, I think we've hit a limit with Halo 1's game engine. Models in Halo 1 have a maximum of 64 markers in each permutation, and this Warthog exceeds that number by... just a bit. So I guess this is it. This is the longest Warthog. The longest Warthog possible. Or is it? Technically, a lot of these markers are not critical to making the Warthog work. I can remove a bunch of them with no consequences whatsoever, and BOOM! Longhog version 7 has logged in. But let's be real here, you guys want more. Your appetite for longer warthogs is truly insatiable, since you are still watching this video. Let's go ahead and bring out Longhog version 8. Oh! Oh dear. It appears we have hit another engine limit. Unfortunately, the seating block within the vehicle tag has a limit of 16 entries. Creating a Warthog with more than 16 functional seats is just not possible. So I guess that's it. Our journey ends here. Or does it? Technically, we can create fake seating by using the game's scripting language to attach bipeds to the Warthog and then apply the relevant animation state to them. They aren't real seats, but I technically have a vehicle with more than 16 characters riding in it, so I would say that counts. And while we're at it, why don't we just go ahead and bring out the next one, Long Hog version 9. Oh fie, it looks like we've run into another engine limit. This time it's with the physics, so it's going to take quite a minute to sort this one out. So in the meantime, why don't you guys go check out the Long Hog's slightly inbred cousin, the Wide Hog. 
Quite the sight to behold, right? A warthog that's just too thick for its own good. But if you think this one is cursed, then prepare yourself for these bad boys. <laughs> but I guess the wide hog really isn't for everyone, so how about a thin hog? He's a speedy little boy, and he has just enough space in the back for a buddy. Some might even say it kind of looks like a warder cycle. Get it? It's like a, it's like a motorcycle. Oh yeah, monster hog! Why are you wasting all your time with these little baby warthogs? They don't give a fuck. Why don't you try releasing a video on time? What? All right, it appears I've worked out the problem with the long hog's physics. Halo 1 uses a very simple physics system where vehicles are defined as a collection of spheres. Each sphere has its own individual physical properties like mass, density, and friction, and they end up looking a bit like this. Spherical. Now the issue I've run into is that the physics model has an upper limit of 48 mass points, and in order to extend the Warthog any further, I need more. So I guess we have finally reached an impasse. This must be, without a doubt, the longest Warthog possible. Or is it? Sure, we may be out of mass points, but we can still rework the model to try and use them more efficiently. This way we can basically stretch the Warthog out further by displacing and rearranging mass points as we go. And with a little bit of tweaking, I may now present Long Hog version 9. Now I imagine that you guys must be thinking that I am approaching some final limit here because I've had to work around so many issues so far, but you would be incorrect. In fact, I'm now going to rapid fire the next couple of Long Hogs at you, so please, brace yourself. Long Hog version 10. It's so long that you can use it as a ramp to climb up the cliffs of Blood Gulch. Long Hog version 11. So long that it bottoms out on even the tiniest of hills. Long Hog version 12. So long that I completely ran out of model markers again. Long Hog version 13. So long that I had to make a custom camera track so you could actually see while driving. Long Hog version 14. So long that it can now be used as a bridge between the bases on Battle Creek. So now, as you can plainly see, my power waxes with each long hog I create. Soon I will become unstoppable as I approach my magnum opus, the Infinity Hog. But in the meantime, check out this up hog, a fully functional warthog that is part of the Ceiling Gang Master Race, because floors are cringe. And next, of course, we have the Hog Hog and the Wart Wart. I don't really know what to say about these, though. They're just just kind of goofy looking and they drive weird I don't, I don't like them but what doesn't drive weird is the hover hog this one is actually kind of cool it controls and acts like a ghost but it has seating for four players and honestly i i kind of like this one i might i might keep it just, just don't tell me about that and just one last silly one here is the spaz hog a totally normal warthog that just sort of spazzes out at random Truly a marvel of modern engineering. Alright, so you guys remember that big hog from the start of the video? Well, I didn't just stop at four times scale. In fact, I went quite a bit further. So please, ready yourselves for the Giga Hog. My apologies for those of you who may be suffering heart attacks right now. This monstrosity is completely beyond reason, but it is fully armed and operational. Though honestly, this map is a bit cramped for it, so let's find a better place. Here is the map Death Island, easily the single largest stock map in the game. It has plenty of space for the Giga Hog to frolic gaily across the shores. But what is that in the distance there? Some kind of dark and menacing foreshadowing. Oh no, it's here. The Ultima Hog. It would seem that we once again need a bigger map. So I guess it's time to introduce Desert Warthog Remastered. As I was building all these warthogs, I kind of wondered what I should do with them. And the answer came like a bus running me over in the middle of a desert. What better use for all of these warthogs than to make people drive them monotonously through a giant desert for hours on end. And this desert, oh boy, does it push the limits of Halo's game engine. I could not make it any bigger or any more detailed than this, no matter how hard I tried. But enough about sand, we all know it's coarse and it's rough and it gets everywhere. What you want to know is how big is this next goddamn warthog going to be. So brace yourself for our great and most holy of lords approaches. Behold the wart god. The 
thou shalt sing it its praise and glory, and it shall bless thee with eternal life and low ping. And with that out of the way, all that remains in this video is to finally create the longest warthog possible. And next up is, of course, Long Hog version 15. What a powerful specimen this is. For reference, you can use it as a ladder to climb up the side of Death Island. But we still need to go bigger. Long Hog version 16. We are clearly approaching ascension here. This unit is so massive, it's starting to break down the physics engine a bit. But we can still go further. Long Hog version 17. No. This error message, it brings me great pain. For we have reached the upper limit for vertices in a model. We can no longer extend this warthog. All of my hopes and dreams dashed in an instant. Or are they? I have hit the vertice limit for the visual model, but the physics in collision can be further simplified and extended. So if I segment the visual model into multiple parts and then reassemble it at runtime with a script, I can create a warthog that is so long, it will rip apart the very fabric of our universe. And that is exactly what I have done. Now gaze upon my creation, for it is beautiful and terrible as the morning and the night. Fair as the sea and the sun and the snow upon the mountain. Dreadful as the storm and the lightning and stronger than the foundations of the earth. All shall love it and despair. And that wraps up today's video, but your suffering will unfortunately never end. If you enjoyed this Halo theme content, be sure to let me know and I'll keep making horrific videos like this. I might even make a second Cursed Halo, and that is a threat. In the meantime, if you've got nothing else to do, why not go try out my game, 20xx.io? It's free to play and it recently got an update, which is pretty neat. So thank you for watching and have a nice bath time.